Houston, we have a problem. Neither the actor's injuries, fires on the set, or financing problems prevented these films from becoming memorable space adventures. This is the Top 10 Best Space Movies of All Time. Number 10, Interstellar, 2014. This journey begins in 2067 with an exciting and thrilling adventure to discover planets that could be humanity's new home. Interstellar shows Earth facing a global crop plague and dust storms, making the planet uninhabitable in a short time. Do you think we're closer to that reality than we thought? The plot of Interstellar inspires, amazes, and has a shocking ending. This caught the public's attention so much that it had a worldwide gross of over $677 million and became the 10th highest grossing film of 2014. It was also nominated for five Academy Awards, winning Best Visual Effects. The reviews were very flattering. In 2020, Empire Magazine called it one of the best films of the 21st century. In addition, Interstellar has been noted by critics as the most ambitious and challenging science fiction film since Stanley Kubrick's film. Which one? Well, precisely the one below. Number 9, 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968. An epic and groundbreaking science fiction film. Although the film was harshly criticized and misunderstood at first, it's considered Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece and one of the major artistic works of the 20th century. It stands out for its use of unconventional film techniques such as long sequences accompanied by music in a masterful way. And the special effects are mind-blowing. No wonder it won an Academy Award for Best Special Visual Effects. Martin Scorsese himself has listed it as one of his favorite films of all time. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas also joined the directors who acknowledged the influence of this movie on their careers. Because of the depth of its script, it triggered a series of analyses about the meaning of the monolith, the collapse of HAL 9000, and Star Child. But you know what? Kubrick encouraged people to make their own interpretations and refused to give explanations. The interpretation is in your hands. Number 8. The Martian, 2015 In 2035, an exploration mission turns into a space survival story. Matt Damon plays Mark Watney, a botanist and mechanical engineer who will do whatever it takes to survive after being marooned on Martian soil. Much of this production was filmed in Wadi Rum, Jordan, and was praised for its direction, visual effects, and even its scientific accuracy. This was possible thanks to Ridley Scott working with James L. Green, the director of NASA's Planetary Science Division. You may be surprised to learn that the process used by the protagonist to produce water was accurate and NASA is using it in a Martian exploration device. The movie received 26 nominations for Best Picture, 20 for Best Director, and 19 for Best Actor. The Martian grossed over $630 million worldwide, making it Scott's highest grossing film to date. Remember this director, because he'll make a great comeback in this top. Number 7, Apollo 13, 2012 A thrilling and suspenseful film about a true story. And yes, this line of dialogue Houston, we have a problem. is 100% real. Well, what Apollo 13 Commander Jim Lavelle exactly said was... Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Director Ron Howard made everything possible to create a technically accurate film and even the costumes were remarkable for being correct. Howard didn't hesitate to work with NASA to train the cast of astronauts and flight controllers and even got permission to film aboard a reduced gravity aircraft. Bill Paxton, Tom Hanks, and Kevin Bacon took great pride in not feeling dizzy during the zero gravity scenes, but the cameramen weren't so lucky. As for box office in five days alone, Apollo 13 grossed $38.5 million, making it the second highest five-day opening of all time behind Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Its accolades? Well, it was nominated for nine Academy Awards, winning for Best Film Editing and Best Sound. Number 6, Blade Runner, The Final Cut, 2007 This is perhaps the most misunderstood film of its time by critics and box office. Now it has earned its place as a cult film and is considered one of the best sci-fi movies of all time. Once again, Ridley Scott shows off his brilliant direction in this top film. 
achieving a timeless movie acclaimed for its special effects using non-digital technology to the fullest. Moreover, it's an outstanding example of the neo-noir cinema of the cyberpunk subgenre. I can't fail to mention the superb performance by Harrison Ford, who after his success in Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark, was looking for a role with dramatic depth. Here, he plays a relentless ex-Blade runner on the hunt for replicants, but faces a dilemma when he meets Rachel. In 2007, Warner Brothers released The Final Cut, a digitally remastered version and one of the versions over which Scott retained artistic and editorial control. Truly worth it. Number 5. Guardians of the Galaxy 2014 This film has been praised for its direction, acting, soundtrack, visual effects and action sequences. Oh, and yes, you'll be laughing non-stop. <laughs> Here, Chris Pratt, who won a Saturn Award for Best Actor, plays the great Star-Lord, a slightly dim-witted mercenary who's been wandering through space, but finally finds a purpose. Can you believe the actor had initially turned down the role? Luckily, casting director Sarah Finn and James Gunn himself were able to convince him in a meeting. Guardians of the Galaxy keeps your attention with the craziest narrative twists and an irreverent plot, not to mention emotional scenes. For all this, it became a commercial success, grossing $772.8 million worldwide and is the highest grossing superhero movie of 2014. It also won the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation. Have I already told you about its magnificent soundtrack? Number 4. Star Trek 2009 Considered by many to be the best prequel ever and a reboot for the Star Trek franchise. According to critics, the editing, cinematography, and special effects work here is the best of the best. Even their version of the USS Enterprise was praised. What do you think? Rolling Stone magazine highlighted the performance of Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, achieving the necessary connection between the iconic characters of Kirk and Spock. It's the highest grossing film in the United States and Canada of the entire Star Trek film franchise. On its first day, it grossed $4 million and over $385.7 million worldwide in total. It's definitely an object of cult adoration. Number 3. Gravity 2013 Get ready to feel some space vertigo and claustrophobia. Gravity is an emotionally powerful journey that shows the psychological change, resilience, and even hallucinations of a medical engineer and an astronaut who must work together to survive drifting in space. Sandra Bullock said her role as Dr. Ryan Stone was extremely demanding and painful, but she did so well that she was nominated for Best Actress at the 2014 Academy Awards. Gravity grossed over $723 million worldwide and is the biggest box office success in the careers of Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, who plays Lt. Kowalski. Gravity won seven Academy Awards, including Best Director, Best Cinematography, and Best Visual Effects. Director Alfonso Cuaron won the Golden Globe for Best Director. You've already seen it, right? Well, keep in mind that Quentin Tarantino has said that this is his favorite film of 2013. Number 2. Alien, 1979 Nothing like the movie that awakened the adrenaline to go alien hunting. This is considered one of the best science fiction and horror films of all time. It's been praised by the critics for its realism and great art direction. The terrifying characters, superbly rendered without the aid of CGI, stand out. The chestburster scene is not only one of the most memorable moments for its intense realism, but is also considered one of the most iconic moments in film history. Alien was a resounding box office success, grossing $16.5 million in its first four weeks. It won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, three Saturn Awards, and a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation. The success of Alien spawned a media franchise of movies, novels, comics, video games, and even stuffed animals. Bonus. I couldn't fail to mention First Man, a dramatic and fast-paced movie about the historic Apollo 11 spaceflight. Serenity, meanwhile, is a fast-tracked, fun film that's also a favorite of NASA's International Space Station crew. And if you want a Schwarzenegger like Mars Adventure, Total Recall is full of action and surprising plot twists. By the way, this one was heavily influenced by Blade Runner. 
it's time to show you the big winner, which didn't make it easy for me. Number 1. Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back 1980 the Star Wars saga is full of excellent productions, and although Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope was close on its heels, the big winner is Episode 5. This is considered an example of a sequel superior to its predecessor. Not only did it win two Academy Awards, two Grammy Awards, and a BAFTA, but its great influence on cinema and popular culture is undeniable. Above all, because of the great plot twist that involved Vader being Luke's father. That's in this episode, we met the first version of Yoda and couldn't miss the stellar performance of Harrison Ford as Han Solo. But the production had to overcome great difficulties such as actor injuries, a fire on one of the sets, a snowstorm during the filming of the Battle of Hoth, and the increase of costs to $30.5 million at the end of the project. Still, it became the highest grossing film in its year of release, grossing $1.3 million on its first day of release alone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. More stellar content? Just click here, 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 or here.